All right, let's get that wheel turning. <clears throat> Let me know if I can help with that. Why don't we try a sigil arrow on the upper trough? Should help it stay frozen. Just out of place. Brother, don't give up. I'm certain we can get that gate open. We need oh. to each hit the same spot for this. That's to a work. start. Oh, bugger, there's two of them, and they're angry. Go! 
Ready for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. I wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something about that. When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon, and to use it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Hair Yar back to Valhalla for good measure. You have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the fort. Folky! As long as you know that ain't the way to the fort. Sure did go to pains coming here, busting old tear loose. What a prize he turned out to be, huh? <sighs> Loosen it up when it's time to steal my kitchen, though. <clears throat> Hey, 
Hang on. Almost got it. There. Well, come on in, stranger. I never do get used to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, oh, quit your nattering, you snake sucking mommy milk sauce with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Well, that ain't no good. You see what's wrong here, don't you? Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cables. We gotta figure a way up there and clear them all. That ain't coming back down till we deal with that nest up there. Come on, let's try to get closer. Say good morning! You've got to take out that nest! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, looks like that wheel up there opens the gate. Hmm. No grappling up that way. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this? Hang on, coming around. Brother, did you notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Block than they were to see you? They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this crank and cap that geyser there. You just give me the signal when you're ready. Now. On it!
Turn it again. Aye, aye. He is dead. We gotta have a full stop. Just what you do? <laughs> ah, promising. Ain't they seen us? You've got to take out that nest. They're up there. Oh! I'm right here, you bastard! Let's go already! No! Oh. Oh. Take that nest out so the thing can move. That's why we're up here, remember? <laughs> Old Brock to the rescue! <laughs> Finally! Now we can ride on up to the forge. Come on! The lady's waiting. Hey, got another riddle for you. What gets bigger, the more you take away from it. Well, let's see. Something abstract, I expect. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> stump the stump. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Bam, boy. Some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Oh, watch and learn. See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important form of the thing. <laughs> Hang on. I smell trouble. <laughs> Get Teddy Wanker, you hope. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting on you, Flatterheart! Whenever you want to die, I'm right here! Glad to join up! So this lady, then? The Lady of the Wars. Ain't no more magical creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee-high to a notion. But Sindri had never had it. Said I was too uncouth. But today's finally the day. 
Whoa! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> Bro, I've never seen you so... reverent. Are you nervous? What? Oh. Shut up! No! Go on, pasty. Turn the crank. Let's do this. It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way. Let me look. Oh, fuck no. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh, this place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out, John. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tail. He's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I plumb drop. Time goes by and there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like the way you finally get to show the lady who you are. Goaty, you sure didn't give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. It gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. Let's get back to business. One more crank to turn and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of one. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good. Crank it.
She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand. Alfie Verger almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless it for us. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? What the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! <laughs> the fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no. I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters. Not its form. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. You know what? I can't let you take our new gal home without giving her a twirl. Look, we got volunteers. 